Shabbat shablam, everybody! It's Miss Cracker from season 10. We're gonna do a little makeup tutorial, pippy long stocking, denim and diamonds look today. I'm going to take you from this that my mother made to this face that I made. The first thing I want to do is to get rid of everything I don't like, which on my face is basically everything. So let's start by covering my thinning dishwater brown hair. Pull that up and away. Duct tape to pull about 10 years off of my face. We're gonna pull my skin back. I'm gonna glue the side at my temples right here and then yank my face back. Woo, this is so much fun. I can't wait for three hours from now when I have a migraine from everything I've done to my skull. And we're securing these little tape marks here. She is lifted, God damn it. So here's the canvas, it's time to do the paint. I'm taking this little cotton pad with rubbing alcohol. I'm removing some of the oils off of my skin. Oil interacts with all of your makeup and keeps things from setting properly. So let's just dry this bitch out. I have these nice Eastern European Jewish eyebrows. Look at all of that fur. We're gonna get rid of that. So you're running your eyebrow backwards. Shablam. I don't shave my eyebrows because one of the most important things about drag for me is the double life. I like to be fully a boy when I'm a boy and fully a woman when I'm a woman and I don't want there to be any evidence on my face of drag when I'm out of drag. We're gonna go in here and put some foundation in. Get a professional television paint stick. It will cover all of your childhood issues. The funny thing about me doing a makeup tutorial is that I care like the least about makeup. For me, drag is about interacting with people and uh, telling stories, making people laugh, getting ideas out there, and makeup is just what you have to do to get your foot through the door and call it drag. I'm taking a sponge. Miss Fame taught me to very lightly and in tiny little circles go around and spread that foundation. Look how nice and evenly covered and smooth it is with that little foundation. You would never guess that I'm Bob the Drag Queen's drag daughter. Now I'm gonna contour, same thing, TV paint stick, a nice contour color. If you don't know what to choose, then just ask the nice lady at the store, what is a great foundation color for me? And she will, she will pick it for you, get you started. There we go. Just a little bit of foundation right at the corner of my jawline, my cheekbone down towards my mouth. Now we're gonna use a nice beauty blender. It's a little bit moist because everything works better when it's moist. Going down the line, see how she's, she's opening up, smoothing out. And then I'm gonna go increasingly large circles around. Look at her, she's fanning out, she's pretty. Now depending on how much makeup is part of your identity, you can go ahead and blend and blend forever. But girl, I'm just trying to put this clown paint out there so I can go and tell jokes. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of blending, just enough so that people won't come for me. These are almost dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. It's gonna open up and brighten my eye. I'm not gonna have my eyelashes dangling over the whites of my eyes. So let's just throw on one more layer. And then now that is gonna dry and set while we put on our highlight. Now, I'm a fish queen, so I use clown white to highlight my face. Let's do it. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit because clown white is very thick. Put it on the back of my hand. And then we're just gonna tap a nice little check mark on my face. Really what I'm doing is I'm touching along the bone here. You can feel, feel your cheekbone and highlight that. Nice little mustache. Wonderful. Using this beauty blender. Now I'm using a completely different beauty blender that I use for only highlighting. Oh, come through, she's almost a woman. I wanna cover the inside of my eyebrows here just with a, an extra layer of the paint stick foundation. Shablam. Set that. I'm just gonna cover this eyebrow up like this, nice and thick, and shablam, let's pat it around your forehead. I'm only gonna cover the front of my forehead with foundation. We don't need to get up into the sides here. We'll get to that in a minute. Now it's time to go in with that contour again. Do a nice little triangle on the forehead. Shablam, like this. Again, we're doing those tiny little circles, outward and outward and outward. Soft makeup is for ladies and men that look like ladies. I look like a dude, so we are going in hard with this makeup. We are giving you Trixie hard contours. Now I'm taking Cody powder. Do not use anything else but a really intense setting powder like Cody powder. Don't try to use some little flimsy made for ladies setting powder. You really wanna, 
I do this every time. I forgot to highlight my nose. All right, I'm gonna highlight my nose using the clown white again. And first we're gonna blend it in as if we hadn't powdered over our nose. You should really put your cream highlights in before you powder down. But since I am like an aging queen, I forget steps sometimes and that's fine. Powder it out, blend it out, do this nose. For me, the nose contour is so important because my nose is so asymmetrical. We're gonna try to give it some symmetry in there. It runs diagonally across my face and we're gonna try to give the illusion that it runs straight down. One of my contours is gonna come over a little too far and one of them is gonna not go over far enough and that's gonna give the illusion that my nose is straight. Shablam, there she is. Just straight up and down the line, but do those tiny little circles. It really makes all the difference. Reclaiming my highlight, shablam. There we go. Okay, now we can set. Bam! See how the contrast is coming down on my highlights and contours? What a wonderful thing. Here she is, she looks gorgeous. We're gonna remove a little of this excess and we're done. Um, my name is Jeffree Star, I'm just kidding. I'm a maverick, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows right now. Make a little mark at the top of my eye socket, right on the bone, right above the inside corner of my eye on both sides. Then from the outside of my iris, straight up to my eyebrow, I'm gonna make a mark on both sides. Shablam. And then I'm gonna connect the dots, God damn it! Look out, Dusty, I'm coming for your gig. Right along the socket there. I feel the bone right under the brush. Great, wonderful. So now I've started my eyebrows, then I'm gonna go up and just do a nice curve. It's gonna draw a line between this little mark here and that mark there. It has a nice long eyebrow. It's a nice long eyebrow, she's curvy. I love these little marks here. I noticed Valentina does them. A couple girls in New York City does them. I'm using the brush here to just decide the width of my eyebrows. Uh, coincidentally, I like my eyebrows to be about the width of one of these brushes, wedge brushes. Wedge brushes, chisel brushes, angle brushes, I don't know. I always feel so much anxiety about my eyebrows until I outline them. I'm like, oh, she's coming, she's coming through. Let's look at her, she's nice. And fill it in. Start with a light color in the center here. Shablam. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna cut under the eyebrows with the clown white. Shablam. Just get enough in there, enough paint in there that we can work and blend it around. What shape am I doing this blending in? Tiny little circles? Exactly. I'll just put it in the center of my eye. Let's use some super white powder. If only I could use super white on my emotional life. Just smooth out all the issues. There we go. I'm gonna do a nice uh, purple palette because I'm doing pink today. It's a nice gloss so that it's you're, you're putting shadow in here, but it also has a little shine to it. I'm just gonna paint right along my eye socket. I'm gonna try to run the line a little farther out parallel to my eyebrow. Blend, 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 blend. Right in the middle of this cut crease here, I'm just gonna add a, a line of black to just really emphasize the cut. Look at her. And I'm just gonna paint from the corner of my eye up while I'm looking at myself directly in the eye. Pointing towards the tip of my eyebrow and to the corner of my eye, shablam, a line. Shablam. It's just that easy. Here we go, just filling it in. This eyeliner is like my last boyfriend. It is just the best I can do right now. Now I'm taking my cut crease color, running it under here. There we go. The next thing I wanna do is go ahead and go in with the highlights for my face, highlighting my temples. This is the part that Kim Kardashian loves to highlight so much. This area right here. Just right in the center, it really narrows up your forehead. Down the center of my late in life nose highlight, shablam. Get a little highlight in this area here. Do this little dot. This is the Aja dot here, right here. Here we go, shablam. Monique Hart told me that my nose contour was too harsh and she wasn't wrong, so we're gonna use a nice soft brush. I was like, how dare you? And then I looked at the pictures, I was like, all right. Here we go, just blending this out, girl. We're blending our contours in with the powders. Okay, now we're gonna do my lips. Listen, when I was first starting drag, my lips were exactly like my bank account. Overdrawn. My lips are naturally overdrawn. So let's uh, go in here with this. Mm. 
The blush is gonna help blend my contours into the rest of my face. Look at that, she's so nice. It warms up your face. Now, we're gonna put on some lashes. For me, that is the crowning moment. I'm not one of the queens that does bottom lashes because I have such a small face. Anytime I put bottom lashes on, I feel like it just makes my eyes too big for my face. It's like the Mrs. Potato Head effect. I don't wanna look like Anne Hathaway. I just wanna look like a regular person. As you can tell, she likes to do a natural look. Okay, now we're using Weave Bond. I'm gonna bend the lash in the shape of my eye and let it dry. God, she looks a wreck. Look at this. Place it on. And just keep holding it in the place that you want it to be. All right. All right, everybody, this is the face that I'm going to wear for my look, so it's time to put on the rest of the look. I have to tell you something that Bob the Drag Queen told me that I have lived by. It does not matter what you think you look like. If you don't like your face, leave the house anyway, because the important part of drag is connecting with people. And uh, listen, it's not about the makeup. It's about being there. So let's do it. All right, everybody, here I am in my completed look. I'm giving you denim and diamonds, and uh, it's really doing wonders for my diction. Follow me on social media. You can find me at M-I-Z underscore cracker, spelled just like the snack and the racial slur. And I look forward to seeing you on the road. Bye now. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs>